Hey there, peeps. What's going on? This is Jeff, a.k.a. Nomad Theory. And it's been a while that I haven't made a video. So this will be my first ever video for the month of April. Okay, as what you've seen here on the screen, this is my official Facebook fan, fan page, Nomad Fury. So just go to facebook.com slash nomadxfury. Okay, so what am I doing lately, guys, is that I will be hosting and organizing uh, a live online panel discussion. So you can see right here, uh, this is my latest post. I want to uh, read it read it for all of you guys. Okay. All right, so you can see in the banner here, I will be hosting a live online panel discussion about the impact of coronavirus in the cryptocurrency and blockchain business. And the good thing, guys, is that I have invited five guest speakers from various companies. So let's start first with Mr. Henry Wang, who is the founder of Smart Mesh. So you can check out Smart Mesh on Facebook or just Google it. Okay. So Henry Wang, I have met him a few times in various conferences. It's like the first time I met him at the Blockchain Fair Asia 2018 and also other conferences that I have attended last year in the Philippines and abroad. Okay. The next one would be Mr. Lin Soich. I don't know how to pronounce that. I would apologize for that anyway. He is the founder and CEO of Lydian Lion Global. Okay, so speaking of Lydian Lion Global, I'm also the main advisor of Lydian Lion Global. Okay, so it's a Croatia based uh, crypto, it's based on Stellar. Okay, so it's all about offline is the next luxury in which we will be developing the app, of course, that, we'll, that we will be rewarding users for doing offline activities. Okay, so you can check out uh, Lydian Lion, just Google it. The Lydian Lion token, uh, you can read the white paper. Okay, and the next one would be Mr. Alex Mock. He's the co-founder of Stockbox Capital. So... The first time I met this guy was February 2019, in which I was still with Vibe PH that time. Uh, it's our first event. It's a it's a kick uh, it's a kick off event at the blockchain space Makati. So that, that's where I met him for the first for the first time, and then I met him, I think, in Singapore once again in Singapore. And then in Malaysia, he invited me to uh, to speak, to be one of the panel speakers for Blockonomic 2019 Malaysia. Okay, so the topic was blockchain in social impact. So thank you very much, Alex, for uh, inviting me. So that was the first time that uh, I was one of the panel speakers overseas. Okay, and the last time that I have met Alex was he was with... Uh, his, uh, his buddy, Mr. Adam Lim, who is uh, also a co-founder of Stockbox Capital, in which we are having a small seminar last December 2019 here in my hometown, Bacolod City. So we are we are having a small seminar about decentralized finance and, of course, the introduction of the WB wallet. Okay, and I would like to thank him for uh, accepting my invitation. Uh, to be one of the panel speakers, okay, for for my uh, for my panel discussion, and the next one would be Mr. Kenneth James Berry. Uh, to be honest, guys, I haven't met him personally. He is based in Mindanao, so he is a crypto and blockchain enthusiast. So, for Kenneth James Berry, uh, he has managed uh, several projects. Okay, yes, uh, such as PG Pay, 
uh, hydro, and and a few more. So there there come a time that when the lockdown is over and I would get a chance to uh, meet him in the Mindanao. Well, uh, it's going to be an opportunity. I I could have met him. I could have met him uh, last time in um, in Manila. I think I think he flew to Manila to attend uh, to attend some some event. And um, that's the time I was in other place, so I haven't had a chance to meet him in person. So, but but one day, but one day, Kenneth and I will be uh, will uh, will meet one day. All right. And last but not the least, is no other no other than Mr. Evan Anthony Esker. He is the founder of uh, his crypto blog, the Crypto Skill Set. So you can go to his uh, his website, cryptoskillset.com. Okay, so about Evan, of course, uh, yeah, he was a freelancer. He, he, uh, he was a uh, contributor at Bitpinas, and uh, the last time I the last time I met him, uh, he was in Cebu. Okay, uh, we have met a few times already uh, since I think it was uh, 2018. I think in a um, IT blockchain meetup organized by Hiroyuki Kumiya, uh, who is a Japanese, who is from Japan and he is currently residing in Cebu City. That's where I met Evan for the first time, and then we met again uh, a few times, a few times uh, last year, in which uh, most of the most of the uh, time I was there in Cebu. Uh, when I was still working uh, with Vibe BH, uh, we were having some edu educational events in various universities, such as uh, Cebu Technological University, the uh, University of San Jose Recoletos, and University of Cebu Banilan. So he was there supporting our event. So thank you very much, Evan. And I uh, hope to see you again when the, the lockdown is over on April 30th. And knows what would what would our uh, future holds? Okay, so at least guys, I have I have uh, introduced to you guys uh, the guest speakers for for this Saturday's live online panel discussion about the impact of coronavirus in the cryptocurrency and blockchain business. So it will be on April eighteenth, twenty twenty, eight to nine p.m. Philippines time. Okay, so guys, I will be live streaming our uh, our zoom call our our zoom discussion on my official facebook fan page nomad theory so you can see here in the screen at nomad x theory okay and of course guys the um this event of course the main the uh the event sponsor is no other than news crypto so you can go to newscrypto.io for more information about their project concept which was very interesting for me especially especially when it comes to educating educating um, uh, people about cryptocurrency and blockchain blockchain technology so I, I really I really like what I have seen so far with news crypto and uh, I would like to thank them uh, for being the event sponsor of um, my live online panel discussion and also thank you very much um, thank you very much for all these speakers uh, who haven't accepted my invitation to um, uh, to uh, participate and to uh, and of course uh, it, it would let the audience know it would it would let all of the uh, uh, all the viewers let to know what is going on how uh, what are Oh, what can we do in this uh, crisis? Uh, how can we, how can we cope up, especially you know in the cryptocurrency and blockchain business? Because you know about the coronavirus, guys. It all started last December in Wuhan, and uh, it continues to grow as of today. That results to uh, enhance community quarantine here in the Philippines. So, or shall, we shall say lockdown, okay? 
So I haven't got out got out of the house for, for so long. Okay, because you know the health concerns that we have in which uh, there's a possibility that we, uh, I could contract the virus outside, so it's better to be safe. But the good news is that uh, in my city, there were no new cases for several days. Uh, let's just keep it that way. And and of course, I, I, I just hope that everyone everyone is uh, going to cooperate. You know, just listen to the government, stay home, uh, practice proper hygiene, social distancing, and so on. So speaking of social distancing, well, uh, yesterday was my dad's birthday, and and we just celebrated here at home. So usually when we greet birthday, we we hug, we kiss, but it's different this time. We have so for so many days we have practiced social distancing and uh, we, we accepted that. So so I hope you guys are. Um, are, are doing the same as well okay and and, and, I, and I just hope that that after April 30 the uh, the ECQ will be lifted okay we just have to cooperate but for now guys of course uh, today is April 14 so it's like we have 17 days to go 17 days to, uh, uh, before we could finally go out usually the Usually, the, the ECQ should end on April 12th. But uh, in order to flatten the curve, the president has decided to extend the ECQ up to April 30th for the zone. And uh, they even said that there's no need for Visayas and Mindanao to extend. But in order to flatten the curve, the governors are willing to extend. So we have to accept that. We we just have to we just have to listen. So that's my advice, guys. So stay home. So so staying home is also an opportunity for us to uh, to look for new ways because for because most of the most of last year, guys, I was attending I was attending crypto conferences local and overseas. But right now, it's, it's it's very different right now. The rise of virtual conferences, of rich, virtual panel discussions, summits, webinars. So, so it's all about it's all about uh, finding ways, new new stuff or so like this one. So I, I've already seen that. I've I've already seen that in um, other virtual conferences, and I really like that. And and for me, I think it, it will continue until the pandemic is no more. Okay, because because uh, for me, because for me, uh, you know, in my in my opinion, you know, like okay, after the lockdown, the government, of course, uh, they they are still banning mass gatherings. So mass gatherings, including conferences, seminars, etc., it will still be banned after the lockdown. That's that's what I was um, that's what I foresee. But I could be wrong. But in order to um, flatten the curve and to eliminate this virus once and for all, while vaccine is still under development, of course, uh, we just need to, to do social distancing and no mass gatherings for now, even if the ECQ is lifted. Okay. So, coronavirus, guys, well, um, this crisis is real. And um, it it killed it had killed hundreds hundreds of people around the world, especially in U.S. right now, which they are they have surpassed Italy for the most number of cases. And originally, China was the one having most number of cases, and then Italy, and then United States. But we have to be as one as we have to be as one uh, to fight this virus once and for all by just staying home. Okay, and always listen to the government. All right. So once again, guys, I'm inviting you to um, to watch to watch our live online panel discussion this Saturday, April 18, 2020, 8 to 9 p.m. Philippines time. So this will be a very interesting uh, interesting topic, and of course, the questions that I have for them would be also very interesting. Okay. 
So once again, uh, here are the speakers. We have the, part the participating companies right here. And also, thank you very much once again to newscrypto.io for being our event sponsor. And of course, guys, don't forget to follow me on various social media channels such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Uptrend, and Steamit. And of course, I forgot to put my Telegram there. Anyway, so my Telegram is not my Okay, so I have to admit, guys, so this is my first time hosting and organizing a live online panel discussion. Okay, yours truly, Nomad Fury. So anyway, guys, I thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. Okay, and I, I hope you liked what you've seen so far. Okay, and if you think that this video helps you a lot, of course, don't forget to, sh uh, sh to share this to your crypto friends out there, especially those who want to attend and check out our live webinar this coming Saturday, okay? And guys, spread the word. Spread the word about my live online panel discussion. This will be very, very interesting, okay? Okay. <laughs> and guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for you to stay notified about the latest videos that I have for you about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. And not only that, you can also follow my official social media channels that are displayed here on the screen or in my YouTube description. Okay, so from my home sweet home, this is Jeff, aka Nomad Theory, and see you on my next video.